on our trail to the pumpkins. Yep. <laughs> popcorn. It's actually really good. Maybe I'm just like really hungry though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's freezing. Thank you. 
this thing. First close up, close up. This is always the most attractive thing first ever. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. There it is. Oh my god, that's so good. About 11.30 in the morning, 40 degrees, eating caramel apples. This is so good. <laughs> and this time it's cold enough that a bee is not going to attack me. <laughs> Alright, are we getting Will's first bite? All in one. All in one. All in one. I got a bag of mine I can't get off. Yeah, not coming off. <laughs> Yeah, not coming off. Whoa. Oh. Not baby. coming off. <laughs> yep. Got the hairy one. <laughs> Makes the first bite pretty much pure caramel at this point. Oh boy. Okay. You got it, Will. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why do you why are you so much better at that? The worst thing is <laughs> we got red apples instead of green apples. Oh, are they red? which is not like them. That's okay. But still really good. That's okay. They're still very good. video I had just gotten to the intensity of the conflict just gotten to the the nitty-gritty where she witnesses the crime and then I will say I'm glad I came back and gave it an updated review because it did get better yes it took a while the halfway point and it finally picked up but from that point on it was pretty pretty great. I will bump up the rating to maybe a four out of five. I did mention I loved the narrator's voice throughout the whole novel. It was perfect. She felt real. She felt genuine. Towards the end, I sort of was already figuring out who 
committed the crime, I had my idea, and I feel like I read a lot of these kind of books, and I watch a lot of these kind of movies, and you already know how to predict these things well, but there were still, even though I kind of figured out who it was, there were still a lot of other twists and turns that kept the book exciting. I thought it was good. We watched the movie right after I had finished it, and I definitely will say, even though the movie was good, I would definitely give the book a shot instead of just watching the movie. But we went to the bookstore today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Jeanette McCurdy's book. I'm so excited. I don't know. This is not a book that I would have gravitated to. I would just never gravitate towards autobiographies, people, celebrities writing about their past experiences, childhood traumas. I, not that I don't think that those are great reads. I just want to pick them out for myself. But guys, the reviews, the people talking about this book. Plus, I love Jeanette McCurdy. She's awesome. And then the title, though, I'm Glad My Mom Died. That's a heavy, that's a heavy, bold title. Plus, people will say they cry reading this book. They laugh reading this book. It's sad. It's heavy. It's emotional. And it's comical. Of course, we know she's a funny girl. But... I'm really curious. I want to read this book. So that is what I'll be reading next. I just knew all the hype that it was getting. I just couldn't ignore it. It literally went from the woman in the window to I'm glad my mom died. Wow. Things are getting crazy. Midnight's is out. Um, wow. My top two songs on the album are Antihero and Karma. Karma is, I feel like I learned the lyrics that first, the first night I listened to the album, I was like, I'm learning the lyrics. I'm going to ingrain them in my soul. I'm going to, that's going to be my personality is Karma. That is my song. I've listened to it on repeat a thousand times. It's, it's beautiful. The whole thing is a work of art. The whole thing feels like a combination of reputation and lover. Now I'm kind of glad that we're getting that little taste of reputation again. This album is great. I'm not just saying that just because I always think her albums are great. This one is great. I feel like e this is an album, even if you're not a Swifty fan, I feel like you could still find at least one or two songs on this album that you just would love. It's great. So gonna go keep listening to that. Ooh.